The FBI has been accused of spying on American Muslims in another example of secret surveillance revealed in agency documents. The documents show that the FBI used its community outreach programs in order to collect and store information on students, community members, and religious organizations. The documents were obtained through the Freedom of Information Act by the ACLU, the Asian Law Caucus, and the San Francisco Bay Guardian. One of those groups targeted by the FBI is the Muslim Community Organization, based in San Francisco. And we're joined now by Issa Shah, a board member. Welcome to FSRN. Thank you. First, describe your organization and the role it plays in your community there. The Muslim Community Association of the San Francisco Bay Area is a congregation of American Muslims. Muslim community, the MCA seeks to create an environment where American Muslims can practice their religion freely and where we can build bridges of understanding with the larger community. And I saw on your website today some of those activities you do are um, there's uh, in addition to an introduction to Islam, there's also a Latin cultural night coming up, a, a sports league for, for members of your community as well, right? Yeah, and in addition to those great events, we also have an annual Ramadan open house where we invite members of the, the Barda community to come in to experience our our hospitality and then join and, and break bread with us for, for an evening of, of dinner and, uh, and introduction, as well as a, a chance for us to get to know one another and build bridges. Now, the FBI documents obtained and released by the ACLU show the FBI engaging in secret domestic intelligence gathering, often attending um, some of these community gatherings, such as the ones you're describing, and, and speaking with people, then passing on that information in detailed reports to the FBI. Do you remember some of the incidents described in these files? Some of the incidents described in these files are exactly the kind of incident I'm talking about. The problem is that... When we engage in these types of activities, the goal is for us to build the trust, to build a rapport with one another, to work together towards our mutual goals, our mutual values, and our collective security. We didn't intend and we were not aware that there was this other mission on the part of the FBI where they were collecting names, recording associations, and that's problematic. I want to get into one of the examples that's um, outlined by these documents. One of the documents obtained by the ACLU is an FBI memo dated September 25, 2008, in which an FBI agent goes to a Ramadan iftar event and speaks with people, sits through the uh, presentation, uh, then passes on the details of conversations, including phone numbers, mobile phone numbers, uh, and even information from a flyer for a halal supermarket in San Francisco. Does that sound uh, uh, familiar to what you've experienced? That sounds familiar, and it's, it's very disturbing. When you, when you go to a church or synagogue, you don't expect that someone's going to be secretly writing down your phone numbers, writing down your names, writing down the people that you spoke to, the, the places where you go to practice um, your religion, express your, to express your First Amendment protected right of freedom of association, freedom of expression, freedom of religion. Now, since these documents have come out, what has the reaction been like from the people in your organization and the members of your community? The members of our community feel betrayed. We feel that we've opened our arms, we've opened our doors, and invited the, the public and invited the FBI in in an effort to build these relationships where we can work together. We're all concerned about our nation, our security, and we want to make sure that those lines of friendship and of cooperation remain open so that we can prevent things like the, the horrible events of 9-11, work together to prevent these events. But that trust is betrayed, um, and I'm not sure how we're going to be able to, to work, continue to work together and move forward in the same way. Issa Shah is a board member with the Muslim Community Organization in San Francisco. His group is one of several in FBI documents that show secret surveillance of community groups. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you, Dorian. In response to a request for more information on the community outreach program, the FBI told FSRN that the agency maintains a, quote, clear distinction between outreach and operation activities. 
It said it takes seriously any allegation of improper conduct. You can find a link to the FBI documents on fsrn.org.